is the entrance to the Alright, so this is what I'm starting with, some uh, sashimi, salmon, white tuna, tuna, there's other fish, scallop, and of course some uh, fresh raw oyster and clam, so let me give it a try here. Alright, so let's go do some oyster. Okay, let's see if it's fresh. Oh, haven't had raw, raw oyster for a long time. Okay, let me try some clams as well. The clams are very fresh. I actually like the clams more than the oyster. Really? Yeah, the oyster, I think they washed it out a lot. So, oh. but, um, mm. clams is good. But I feel like the oyster is just, um, you don't, it's not, it's, it's not like it's not fresh. Maybe it's this type of oyster is not as, um, like the taste is different. I'm used to other more fatty and rich taste. Yeah, this one's okay. It's fresh, but it's not as that oyster taste, you know, it's like that heavy oyster taste. I wish there's more oyster taste. My wife's oyster looks nicer than the one that I have. All right, sashimi time. Oh, I didn't get any wasabi. Sorry. Sashimi's good. Salmon's good. Fatty. Fresh. Mm. Yep, I would recommend coming here with the with the sashimi. Now, of course, you know, for buffet style, I think this is pretty okay. Mm, I like this one. I think this is the white tuna, right? Uh, the normal one that I usually like to yeah. get. I think so. Yeah. I'll be getting more. 
I love this. This is really expensive if you go to um, just a regular sushi place. Mm. Okay, so far all the raw fish is pretty good. Okay, so let's take a look at our rows here. We have the tuna lover and the New York row in the back. Okay, I'm gonna try to get one each. Then we have the spider row and the yellow tail. Well, that's what the sign said, so I'm just reading off the sign. Wasabi Toboko Row and Mango Row. Okay, so this is definitely the Mango Row. Okay, then we have the Rainbow Row and the Fire Row. Okay, Four Season Row and the Salmon Lover. Ooh, Salmon Lover, yes. Get me some of the Salmon Lover here. Okay, next. Inara Row and Out of Control. Oh, Inara, Out of Control. Then we have the Ruby. Okay, so this must be the ruby. Okay, I think we have... I'm not so sure what's this. But, uh... Don't have a sign for that. We have spicy crab. Alright, so this is the one that I'm not gonna get. And then a volcano roll. Okay, we have the Philly Row and the Manhattan Row. Okay, I would love to get a hand row. Okay, then we have the Tokyo Row and the Shrimp Tempura Row. Okay, we have the Vegetable Row, the Futon Maki. Uh, probably not gonna get that. Regular salmon maki, waterfall, dinosaur row. Oh, dragon row. Of course, the dragon row. Gotta get the dragon row. And practically, uh, there's a lot of uh, sushi here. So this is my sushi plate. Oh, I'm gonna go back and get some sashimi. Still wanna get some sashimi. So let's walk around here. a lot of food here. The only one that I know is the dragon row for sure. So let's give it a try. Power the row. Pretty legit I have to say. For a buffet, the row are pretty good. It's not like over, you know, like some places where it's overstuffed with rice. This one looks really yummy too. So. Okay. Mm. Oh, 
that one's spicy inside. So it's like slight spicy salmon. Mm, I like that one. I have no idea what this one is, but it looks so good. Just because I guess that there's spicy mayo on top. Oh, I love space, spicy mayo. This is good. Okay, I don't know what is the technique of eating a buffet, but uh, do you eat really, really fast so then you just stuff yourself really, really quick? Or do you slowly eat? I don't know. Comment below if you, what is your approach if you go to a buffet? Okay, normally I would eat all the other stuff first, but I just want to do the sushi with you guys. It seems really fresh. So, this one looks really good. That one was good. Hmm. Lots of variety. Kind of starting to regret there's a lot of rice here. <laughs> All right, for you guys, I just have to do my exercise more. Okay, overall, the sushi, I think I will give it a six. Um, just because I've been to Japan eating real sushi and or I should say authentic, right? Real authentic sushi. And I had sushi where, you know, it was at a five-star restaurant, um, hotel. Um, you know, so my scale is actually pretty wide range, but for a buffet sushi, I think this is pretty decent. And it might be, <laughs> surprisingly might be even better than some sushi place out there i'm just talking about american standard okay so yeah i'm surprised and it's a friday evening there's quite a few people today and that's good because you want a buffet that have a lot of customers. So then the turnaround, the food is actually keep fresh and they keep making it. So this is good. All right, so I was just served with fresh beef, uh, like a skirt steak. And uh, the guy just came around and he's right there, walking around, serving fresh skirt steak that came out. Wow, I'm surprised at this pricing and you get kind of this kind of service. I feel like I went to those Brazilian steak, Brazilian steak buffet kind of thing. Awesome. All right, let's try this out. I'm gonna use my chopstick. All right, so normally I would like to have it medium rare. This is cooked basically all the way through, but we'll see how it's gonna taste. There is a lot of stick flavor. Flavor, well seasoned. The only downside is completely cooked through, but it, it's a nice piece of stick. But the unfortunate part is cooked through. So, skirt stick never cooked through. <laughs> but um, hey, it's a buffet, so flavor-wise, seasoning-wise, it was good. All right, guys, moment of 
trafficking duck time. Alright, there's some crawfish. Let's get some muscle. Okay, there's some spicy beef. There's some cauliflower with dry shrimp. Then there's the frog leg. And then the string beans. Okay, there's the picking duck. Can I get four pieces? Alright, so they're freshly making the picking duck. Carving right in front of your face. Cucumber and thank you. Alright, so I got some fried chicken wings, pork katsu, some skillet, this is a fried quail, some uh, green string beans, mussel, and the spicy beef. And of course, the Peking duck. Alright, so I'm gonna try the Peking duck. Just for the Peking duck too. Mm, there's no buffet that have Peking duck. This is pretty awesome. Okay, so this is the Grand Moranian shrimp. Oh, saute. The Chinese broccoli. Okay, the steamed turbots. And then the beef short ribs. Or you get one. And then of course the abalone. And then there's the clam. And the lamb chop. Ooh. Oh, I gotta get this. The big oyster. Fresh out. Sweet and sour jellyfish head. The saute seafood. There's the saute vegetable. <coughs> the grilled sea bass okay so I'll probably wait for the next round and then the ginger scallion crab we have the instant noodle egg instant noodle and then the fried rice <coughs> okay so then we have the spicy shrimp with hot sauce and then we have the salt and pe pepper frog legs we got the big shrimp here fried smurt fish and then saute flounder okay so they have some casserole here the eggplant and then the beef tenderloin the cajun seafood combo the lamb casserole and then the pork tripes and then of course this is the grilling station as well as and as well as the udon and the ramen so there's the grilling station. All right, so I removed the cheese for my wife. So that's the oyster. 
So I removed the cheese from my wife. So that's the oyster that you're seeing here. Ooh, nice and fatty. This is the Pacific oyster, I think. Okay, let's see what she thinks. Now I'm gonna try on the shrimp here, try this out. Mmm, the shrimp is pretty good. She is saying it's good. Okay, so the guy is serving meat again. That's what I meant. All right, so this is some view of the College Point area. All right, so I'm really stuffed right now. So now that's why I'm just filming some random stuff. So there's a lot of people today. It's a Friday night. Lots of people at the buffet enjoying themselves. All right, definitely recommend this place. If you have a chance to come to New York City, definitely head your way out to the Queens area. The Queens area in the College Point, and this is the buffet. All right, so Chinese desserts. Get some black sesame. Sweet soup. And then some apple pie. Oh, fried milk. Oh my goodness, that's the fried milk. Gotta get some fried milk. Oh, fried milk. And then the sesame ball. And we got the fountain of love here. The Chocolate fondue. Okay, there's a lot of different uh, pudding, creme brulee, mango pudding, coconut pudding, and then of course the ice cream machine. Mm -hmm. 